Hello. Today I'm going to talk about the heat finder and the heat catcher uh, for Amazon Torque workers. So what we're going to need to do is first we go to Google. We write mtorque suit. Sorry, uh, mtorque suit. Okay, we see here the first link. It's called mtorque suit Chrome Web Store. We're going to open that. Uh, you should see here a download button instead of remove from Chrome because I already have it. So uh, what's showing is remove. I don't want to remove it, of course. So go ahead and download it. And once you download it, uh, you should restart your Chrome in open it again. And it's going to show this icon on the top, like orange black icon. So um, we want to click on that. We want to click on the finder and then we want to open the catcher. Now I'm going to explain everything about the finder and the catcher. So I'm going to remove here. Okay. So first the finder, which is uh, most important, of course. Uh, you see here, you can uh, press on find hits when you actually want to start finding hits. So we will leave it for later. The speed here is uh, the speed for finding hits. This is in millisecond units. So 2000 mean, two seconds means it's going to refresh this page and look for new hits every two seconds. Uh, personally, I like to leave it in 2000 or even 3000. So uh, Amazon... Um, Amazon Torque website limits how many refresh you can do per second. So if you lower this and you go on the catcher and you put, uh, for example, 700 or 800 millisecond, uh, it's going to give you a lot of errors and actually hits have lower chance of getting caught. So what you want to do is you want to keep this in 2000 or maybe a little less or, or more, the more the better, of course, but not too much because if you increase it much, it's going to look for hits less frequently. That way you might not catch some hits on the finder. Okay, so uh, we go for block list, include list, and setting. So I'm going to talk about the setting first. Here you can see the filter. It has the search terms, which are the words you want to write if you're looking about for one particular hit. So let's say uh, there is a hit that has a word cat in it. So you're going to write cat here, and it's going to show the surveys that only have the word cat included in their sentence. Okay, uh, page size. That's how many hits you want to see per page on uh, the finder. I like to set it for 100 so I can able to um, um, to see uh, many hits on the same page. But if you increase it to maybe 150 to 100, uh, your computer might lag and it, your Chrome might be very slow. Uh, just make sure to not set this uh, number for too high for how your computer can handle. If you have an older computer, maybe you can set it to 50 or something. Uh, minimum reward is a minimum reward in cents um, I mean in dollars, sorry, uh, you want to see for the hits. So for example, it's 0 0.01, that means 1 cent, okay? I like to set on 1 cent so you can see all the hits that are 1 cent or more and they're coming out. I'm qualified to work on, it's going to show only the work you are qualified to do. So if there is any hits you're not quali qualified to do, it's going to show here. It's not going to show on the finder, okay? Requires master. That's for the people that only have the master qualification and want to see the hits that only have the master qualification. But by the time you have master qualification, you you know how to use this program very well, actually. Uh, sort by, this is uh, the arrangement from top to bottom. So newest first, it's going to show you the newest hits first. <coughs> and then uh, when you go down, it's going to show you the older hits. <coughs> Apologies. <coughs> Minimum hits available. That's how many hits, uh, <coughs> the minimum side of hits, size of hits available for a requester. So um, if you want to, to see a requester that have more than one hit, you can increase this number. So maybe uh, if it's a patch or anything, and you don't want to see the single hits, you're going to maybe write 400 or 500. If you want to see that this requester have this number of hits or more, you know, I usually keep it for one to see everything. Uh, minimum request trading. I've never tried to change that, but it's supposed to show you, like, uh, the more you increase this number, it's supposed to show you the better requesters. But that way, you are lowering the chance of seeing the, uh, the less quality requesters. That way, some hits are going to come and you're not going to see them. And maybe some of them are good, you know, you never know. So, we're talking about alerts now. So, in the alerts bar, you see the hit sound, new hit sound. If you set a sound to that, every time the finder finds a new hit, it's going to make a sound. Sometimes it gets really annoying, so I leave it for none. But if you leave it for none, 
you need to check the finder regularly by yourself because you need, you're not going to hear sound if a new hits come, you know. Uh, if you have the number, uh, like the minimum reward set on something low like that, you want to disable the sound here, otherwise it's going to be really annoying, popping sounds all the way like ding, 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 every like few seconds, you know. Include match delay. I don't know what is that. I never changed it. I just leave it like that. Include match sound. So, uh, the include thingy, what it means by include is if you included someone in the include list here, like a requester or a hit, uh, it's gonna make like a different sound. <coughs> so, um, if you check any sound and you get like a notification for something came in the include list, it's gonna show like a big window in here and it's gonna make a sound to notify you. That way it will tell you that a hit that you actually want to work on is available right now. Okay. Okay, I'm talking about the block list and the include list. So if you press find hits, it's gonna show you here in the most recent. So <clears throat> uh, the most recent and the logged hits, what's the difference? The most recent shows you the hits that are available right now to work, that they are not taken by other requesters. So let's let's pop it. Uh, here, this, all these hits are available for working, uh, at least that's what it's supposed to be. But once a hit of the, those like are taken and disappears, it's supposed to disappear from the recent hits. Okay, at least that's how I understand it. Uh, I usually like to minimize it and open the locked hits. Why? Because the locked hits show you every single hit that came through the finder in arrangement from uh, how you arrange it in the setting. So it doesn't keep uh, moving up and down and gets really annoying. You just keep looking at the hits that are uh, uh, like that have been there. So maybe if that, like if if there was a hit that appeared and you want to try to catch it, even if it's taken by someone, maybe it's gonna uh, be abandoned by that person for uh, whatever reason later in an hour or two, and you wanna focus on it to catch it. Like uh, maybe a ten dollar hit, you want to really catch it. Uh, you're gonna put it in the catcher and leave it for a while. Okay, so in the recent hits bar, this is not going to be available because usually it's going to disappear. So, uh, you see this requester, Sergei, I like, to do his, like, I like doing his hits, but usually when they pop, they are taken right away. So, I'll just click it here. It's taken. See, there is no more hits available. So, what you want to do is you have once and Panda. If you click on once, it's going to go to uh, the catcher here. Uh, that speed of the catcher, I like to setting it to maybe 800 or um, 800 or 700, whatever. Uh, just make sure this PRE number keeps on zero or maybe one, two, three, like very low numbers compared to the actual search numbers. Uh, you see here, it's it's kind of getting like two over 33, um, three. No, that's that's too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this number to 900. Uh, that's because I have like numerical uh, websites on a different computer open with mTorch, so it's refreshing the pages in the other computer and on this computer. That means it's getting me more uh, errors because you are limited to how many pages you can refresh per second in Amazon Torc. Okay. Usually, if you have only the Finder and the Catcher open, 700 would be a very good number. It's not gonna give you errors mostly. Okay. So, what's the difference between once and Panda? I'm gonna remove this. So once, if you click once here, it's gonna try to catch the hit only for once, and it's gonna notify you with sounds if you wanna uh, like like if you want to. So I click once. You see here, it's gonna catch it once, and watch it once it catch it once. This catcher point, catch point is gonna go gray like that, and it's gonna stop. Gray means it stopped. Green means it's working. So it's gonna go gray, and it's gonna be caught one instead of zero because it already caught it for you. But the sound button means that you're gonna be notified with sound when it, um, when the it's actually caught. Okay. Uh, on the contrary, when you click on Panda here, it's completely the opposite. This catch sound uh, button is not gonna go grey because Panda means it's gonna try to catch this hit numerical times infinitely. It's gonna just try to keep catching it over and over and over until you press on the oh. Okay, uh, on the other computer I'm working at right now, uh, I've been doing batches, so 
Um, someone else is doing it for me right now. So I got a captcha. That, that's actually good. I wanted to show you that part. So I got a captcha. When you get a captcha, you're not supposed to refresh your pages. So what uh, the catcher do is actually refresh your pages in this program. So it instead it pauses and it says capture found. Do you want to resume with catcher? You shouldn't press OK unless you actually write the captcha that you got on the website you're working at or something. So by the time right now my partner already uh, pressed on the catcher, uh, captcha and he wrote it. So I'm gonna press OK. And it's gonna keep searching, searching, searching. Why does it have the sound button grade? Uh, like we can go in green, but you don't want that. Because um, let's say I'm doing Panda for the hits that I want many of them. So if you're gonna get many and you have the sound grain, green, um, it's just gonna keep doing the sound every time it's getting code and it gets really annoying and loud sometimes, okay? So, um, so, what you want to do is um, now we're going to remove this and we go to the hit finder. So I'll explain uh, other stuff in the hit finder. So here, if you click on this exclamation mark, uh, you can see block list, uh, I mean block hit, block requester, includes hit and include requester. So if you want to block, like block a certain hit uh, from showing, you're going to click on the block hit. That way, the hit that you blocked is not going to show ever again until you remove it from the block list. Okay, makes sense, right? And if you click on the block requester, it's going to completely block the requester and every single hit that comes by him until you remove him from the block list, which is here. Include hit and include requester. Now, this is very important, okay? Uh, because sometimes there's a certain qualification uh, or hits that you really want to get. Uh, let's say let, let's consider the demographic survey uh, an actual qualification. So I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna do include hit. You see, it says sounds alarm bolts uh, bolts bolt notifications. You can set all the sounds. The notification actually shows you like a big notification at the bottom right of your screen that uh, tells you this hits actually showed up. So you want to keep it on mostly. I'm gonna click save. So every time this hit is gonna show. Uh, right now, if you go to include list, see demographic survey. It's gonna uh, notify you that this hit is there. Uh, maybe I want to delete it right now because I don't want it. Okay. <coughs> so include requester, include requester. So this is gonna show you every hit that uh, shows up as a requester himself. Okay. So what you want to do? is you want to include the hits that you actually want to catch later. Otherwise, it, it's okay, you can just leave them like that. So, um, what else? Okay, I'm gonna talk about the rating of the requesters and why you might want to block many requesters from showing. So, <coughs> um, for example, this requester have a red color, this have a yellow, this have a green, this have a gray. So, the red color is usually means that the requester have very low ratings and you want to block him from showing most of the times. I personally block almost all the requesters that have the red color because mostly what they do <coughs> is that they give you hits that maybe um, uh, doesn't work or uh, there's no survey code at the end and they've been getting negative feed from other people on MDARC about this. So you want to block most of those. but just uh, as a hint, you might need to check the title or you might need to try the hits first before blocking. Uh, personally, I just block them right away because uh, it's a waste of time for mostly. I just do block requester for most of the red requesters. So, uh, <coughs> how can you see the ratings of requesters? If you click here, you see there's Torque View, Torque Option, and Torque Option 2. This is three different websites that shows you the feedback of people about requesters. So personally, I take most of my answers from Torque Option because it has the most reviews. Um, click here with the middle mouse button to open it in a new tab. And you see here's a requester. <coughs> That's the reviews about the requester. You can see for yourself if he has good reviews or bad reviews. It even show you the name of the hit that people reported and why did they report it and 
uh, how did he read it with every uh, aspect, like fairness, uh, how fast he approved it, the payment, the communication, uh, did he communicate or not, you know? Okay, so I think that's everything about the finder and the catcher for now. Uh, if there's any question, please feel free to ask me, okay? Um, good luck.